Hey everybody, I hope you had a great week. Today we're gonna go out birding again. The last couple of days it's been raining pretty hard and I think it's actually grounded quite a few migrants. So the goal for today's episode is basically to go out and photograph as many warblers as I can. This morning we actually banded and we noticed there was quite a few more warblers than there usually are. We caught a beautiful golden winged warbler, which is one of my favorite warblers. They're endangered back home, so it was amazing to see it up close. So hopefully we can find it out in the field today and I can grab some photos. So the rain today has been on and off, and I think that's actually perfect for bird photography because whenever it's pouring rain, the birds aren't really active. So if you can get out at the same time that the birds are gonna get out when it's not raining, you have so much more chance of actually photographing them. I think in the past, what I would usually do is just say, oh, you know, it's raining, I'm not gonna go out. But what I'm really trying to do this trip is push myself to go out more and more when it's raining because once that rain stops, that's when the birds are feeding, that's when they're active. So yeah, I'm pretty excited. Let's see what we can get. I told you guys last time that I would try to get 50 species and I think I could do it today actually with, with the rain being so heavy the last couple days. I think a lot of species are grounded, so we'll see what we can get. So I just had probably the most colorful bird in the world. Painted bunting flew in. Out of the corner of my eye, I just saw a little flash of red that I'm not used to seeing. And I got a little bit closer. I got a terrible photo. Um, I'm gonna try to go out and find him again. Stay tuned. I found the male. He's right in that lime tree over there. I can't get any closer than this. He keeps flying away and I don't wanna harass him too much. This is the final shot I got. I couldn't get any closer, but I'm really happy that I was able to see it. I've banded them a few times and I've seen them in the field a couple times, but this was definitely the closest I've ever gotten to one. So just another great bird on this day. I'm super excited. Always on the high, you were always on my mind, dear Wichita. The tales we were taught would it never grow old here in Wichita. We were down by the river all through the night, watching the stars in the city lights. When it comes to bird photography, there's just some days where you're really demoralized after your day, like you don't get any good photos and it was really hard to see birds. But today is not one of those days. This is really motivating me. There's so many things that are nice and close and everything's feeding and moving around and flying. And in the jungle, that could be really difficult just because everything wants to be camouflaged, nothing wants to be seen. So the fact that everything's out and moving and visible, I'm so excited I actually came out this afternoon. I think I'm having a lot of success today just because I'm actually birding in an orchard. Orchard habitats are one of the best habitats to actually observe birds, especially during migration when they need to fuel up. What they'll do is they'll land in the orchard there's easy food, there's fruit, and with fruit comes insects. This day is actually insane. That was just a fantastic day. I think there's just some days that are better than others and this one was definitely better than most. I hope you guys enjoyed some of my bird photos from today. I think the star of the day was definitely the male painted bunting. Really was not expecting to see that. And from earlier in the morning during banding, I think the bird of the day for that one was definitely the golden winged warbler. So yeah, everything's starting to pass through again. I hope you guys enjoy the birding vlog today. If you haven't already, please subscribe. I'd love to have you along for the journey and I'll see you next week. Bye. Watching the stars in the city